Hi. Good morning. So good to be here with all of you. We are the Hourglass Transmissions. My amazing partner, the one and the only Kalei. Ooh, all the way from Alaska. Cheryl. 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 I'd be Cheryl. Yes, that's me. That's me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Oh, I'll tell you, um, I got a real reminder the time of year today when I glanced outside and two of the trees in the close across the green from us are starting to get that change of hue in the foliage mm -hmm. so they're starting to shift to that golden and i know they're ash trees they're always the first to lose their leaves they're the last to get them that's part of that tree's genetic makeup but it was like yes you are in the middle of september <laughs> already yeah and last week we had we call it termination dust uh oh on the mountains behind us. Uh oh, what does that mean? White? <clears throat> that means it's coming. <laughs> the um, the thing is, is that at this point in time, it can get warm to where it melts off. Yes. But they're still in the um, in the back that tends to last it tends not to melt our trees are starting um to turn a little bit yeah we have you know the leaves coming down in the grass and, but we have a service so that helps to keep the amount that needs <laughs> yay for those that want to clean up the leaves for you so i don't know yeah. if you have this um uh, where the winds come up do you have winds that bring uh, an acceleration of the leaves changing and falling. It's usually, <clears throat> excuse me, it's usually the frost. We haven't had a killing frost yet, which is good. And I'm okay with that. We don't need one. I'm not calling it in dragons. You can keep it wherever. I don't want to have to cover my tomatoes. <laughs> and I like the flowers. You work all summer to keep them. They're finally just doing phenomenal. And anyway, um, I shouldn't say finally, they're doing phenomenal for a long time, but we did have a bit of a cold snap and then we've had winds from the south which usually brings warmer weather for us typically which is it's it's been beautiful and this week's forecast is beautiful for us so i don't foresee a frost in the next week which okay. means vegetables and tomatoes can continue to ripen and harvest can continue and the farmers in the fields can continue so but to answer your question in a long-winded way no <laughs> We don't have an acceleration wind. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, I know you got a thing for today. And what is it? Uh, the theme for today is what brings you together. Hmm. And then the song is So Happy Together by the Turtles. Turtles. Happy together. Ba, 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 ba. Um, anyway, we won't go into that so we don't infringe on royalties because I sound so much like the turtles. <laughs> and you know, it, it's really interesting how these some of these songs have really um, passed the test of time. Right? Very true. Very true. And it'll continue to pass the test of time until our generation is gone because then it's really gone. Oh. <laughs> We're the ones that know the song. I I think if I asked my kids, they wouldn't know the song. So, well, the thing is, is some like my kids like to listen to the classics. Mm -hmm. They're not classics. Anyway, it's all good. <sighs> so it we definitely a changing a time. Pardon me. Are we ready to go into a? Absolutely, I could use some heart coherence. You lead the way, my friend. Hey. Okay. So settle in your chair, put your feet firmly on the floor, and find your spine aligning. Take in a breath. 
Take a breath in through the heart and hold for the count of three. And then exhale with a sigh. <sighs> Again, take a breath in, in through the heart and hold for the count of three and exhale with a sigh. <clears throat> Take a breath in. This time, we are going to do something different. We're going to take part of that breath up and part of that breath down. We're taking the breath up to the central sun and the breath down to the center of the earth. So allow yourself to see that split as your breath goes up and down at the same time. Ah, see that breath going up, 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 all the way to the central sun. And allow it to hold. Spend, suspend in space. And allow that breath go to, to go down, 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 down to the core of the earth. And suspend in that place with your feet planted in the core of the earth. And in each place, find yourself absorbing the energy, the energy from the central sun and from the core of the earth. Coming into your body, coming into your feet, your legs, your torso, your chest, your shoulders, arms, down to your fingertips, back up into your neck, filling your head, filling your body, filling every cell of your body with the energies of Gaia and the energies of the central sun. Also fill, feel your energy fields being filled with this energy as well, as well as other energy bodies. Now with your feet firmly in Gaia, take steps over to the crystal beds and accept and allow the energies from the crystal beds to fill your body fully. Filling every cell of your body with that energy of the crystal beds. Take the time to give thanks and appreciation to the central sun, to Gaia, and to the crystal beds. And come back to that place of entry and bringing yourself back down from the central sun and back up from Gaia and meeting at that point of entry at your heart. Allow yourself to come back into your body. Allow yourself to feel these energies that you've welcomed in. Allow your heart to be filled with these energies and allow yourself to feel that expansion of your heart expanding again to feel every cell of your body filling your room, your house, your building, your city, your state, your province, your country, your continent, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere, as well as the quantum field reaching out to all in the quantum field, 
and sharing this energy of Gaia and the central sun, allowing others to feel the love, light, peace, harmony, contentment, compassion, forgiveness, gratitude, truth and trust, abundance, and prosperity. Send out the love and feel the love returning. Expanding this energy up into the emerald grid and seeing the magnification from the emerald grid to Gaia. Feel those energies going back and magnifying the love, the light, the peace, and the harmony. Moving again up into the golden grid and magnifying those energies out into the universe. See the glow, feel the glow. Know you have been a party in the expansion of this energy, inward and outward. It is beautiful. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. <clears throat> I was still <laughs> still out there. Hmm. Too funny. Huh. Alrighty. Uh, so <clears throat> as I come back. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to hang out out there. Uh, that's too funny. Anyway, uh, Deck, what, what, do we, what do we got today? I can't even talk. <laughs> I have the crayon deck today. Oh, a crayon deck today. Look at that image. Affirmation cards. Oh, Monica Marani. Yay. Cool. So do you want to show your necklace? Sure. Isn't this about the same? It is. This is the flower of life. We've got that pattern. Mm -hmm. And then this is the card. There we go. Enhanced relationships. I share a deep and loving relationship with myself, my ancestors, humanity, and Gaia. All of my relationships are enhanced by the deep and loving relationship that I share with God. Isn't that beautiful? Which goes along with the theme of the song. You together. Oh, that's the song. <laughs> I'm still just up there. Okay. So let's see what spirit has to say about this. Together, we do this together. Your life is enhanced with the assistance of spirit. Your life is enhanced with the you, we, the we in your inner child your ego, your mind, your heart, and spirit's guidance and involvement. Relationship, relationship with you. The relationship of how you move through this life. The relationship of knowing you are never alone. At times you may feel like you've been abandoned. Not so. It just takes a shift. A shift of knowing what is coming from your heart. Allow yourself to make that connection to your heart. 
allow that connection of the heart to override that of the mind and the ego. Allow yourself to see, look in the mirror and see yourself. See who you are, not but by what you've been told who you are, but actually see yourself, feel yourself, know that you are being guided, you are being supported, you are being loved. Love yourself. Learn to say, I love you. I love you and I'm willing to love you more. And feel your heart radiate when you say this. Feel your heart radiate. And see that radiant you, feel that radiant you, and know you have a path, a path that you are choosing to follow, a path that you are being supported on. Yes, others will say, no, 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 no. You need to go this way or that way. But listen to your heart. Listen to that that is your genuine guidance system, your unique guidance system that is there only for you, only to bring you happiness and joy and love. Who do you think more about in your life? Who do you Think about who comes into your dreams. We say, you are, you are. You may say, oh, I dream about so-and-so, or I dream about whomever. But ultimately, you are the focus. You are the focus. So why not? Focus on what is in your highest and best. What is bringing you joy and happiness? What is it that brings you up, up, up? Yes, it is time to focus on you. It may take a pinch to realize that you are the one that needs to be number one, number one in your thoughts. So we say, love yourself. Be yourself, share yourself, and know it is all in divine order, all in divine order. Ah, love yourself, breathe it in, love yourself, yes. We are here with you. We are here 
with you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you to those that are with us here. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, well, there's going to be more with us today. <laughs> I was guided to grab Keepers of the Light, Kyle Gray Deck this morning. And I believe, yes, artwork is by Lily Moses. Um, interestingly enough, <clears throat> excuse me, this card's come once before. <clears throat> Not often. And it is Commander Ashtar. A little bit larger presence. You, uh, you're clearing your yeah. throat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, not just my throat. Hmm. Um, Commander Ashtar, and it says, call to action. Underneath it, it says, take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. So, pretty succinct statements. Ooh, <laughs> how <say>. exciting. <laughs> so, let's see what's... Uh... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. that's very entertaining let's see what's coming through if you want to chat at all go right ahead my friend mm. it is a gift it is a gift to receive a message from the divine from the universe Yes, it is a gift. <laughs> and yes, dearest ones, we are here. A little <clears throat> gravelly, shall we say. But we are indeed with you. And we thank you for first this intention of what brings you together. For what brings you together calls forth those that wish to join in. For that intention is energy, and energy is everything. And when the energy and the intention are sent out, that is what you attract. Now, the Calais took you through a meditation earlier of bringing out your energy in your heart and then receiving it and sending it out, and then receiving it. Dearest, energy never stops. It has no ending, and it has no beginning. It continues, and it is constant. So your intention around that, we cannot stress this enough, your intention around that, which you share, which you put out, is of utmost importance. And then the follow-up, that call to action, <clears throat> this divine conduit, vessel, channel. The last evening was working with two others, putting together a poster for an event coming up here, awakening the divine feminine energy. And the intention setting that they shared, the intention behind getting the specific information, the specific verbiage on this poster will be felt by those that see it. And even those that do not, for they will be touched, they will be tapped on the shoulder to attend. That is the importance of setting the intention and the energy that you put out. Now, the two of these, the hourglass transmissions, as they call themselves, set the intention to simply be conduits, to bring forth messages. And what do you think that is all about? What brings you together is intention. What calls you to watch this? Is that similarity in intention 
There is a connectivity, a connectedness. And there are many calls to action right now, dearest beings. Many. And you will be drawn to that which has the vibrational frequency that you are at. And that resonates with your intention. Happy together. And would you say happy is a vibration, a frequency? It is. And that happy is also an intention. What brings you together is the happy. For happy attracts happy. Yes. Dearest beings, you attract to you your frequency, that which is in full alignment with your frequency. You call to you unseen keepers of the light, the Cryons, the Adirondas, the Abrahams, the Commander Ashtars, whatever terminology you wish to give it. But it is all energy. It is all energy. Where is your energy? Are you here on the scale or here on the scale or somewhere in between? You can rise. And we are not suggesting that you stay high all the time. <laughs> in human terms, that has so many different meanings. You will have ups and downs. That is part of your human experience. And becoming aware of when the downs are to take steps to create the up vibration again. That is your work, dearest. Working at living at this higher level. This card, call to action, take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. Very succinct statements, very powerful statements. Easy, not necessarily. Achievable, absolutely. And that starts with one thought, one message, one word, one thought, one message, one word, one thought, one thought, one thought. What brings you together is your vibrational frequencies. How do you get the same one? Not that you necessarily want the same, but it starts with your intention. If you want to or choose to be in self-pity, or if you want to and choose to be happy together, you will attract to you happy together. And if you choose to be in a pity party, as it is labeled, you will attract to you those also at that vibrational frequency. Dearest beings of light, 
you have the opportunity every moment of every day to become aware of your emotional, energetic, intentional state of being. And we are here to assist and guide you if you so choose. Namaste. Namaste. I feel like I need to stretch my body out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gooseies. That was fun. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Oh. Oh. So I want everybody to take a moment to look at themselves in the mirror mm. and see what you can bring to yourself mm. that brings you joy. If you've been in a funk, look at how that can be shifted, how you can shift that. Yes. And it may not be funk to ecstatic that's a right. big shift but right. funk could go to better it could take a step up that scale step mm -hmm. up the stairs because you can't jump from down here to up here and also look at what you may be taking on from somebody else mm. you really need to carry that anyway that's true that's very very true let it go <laughs> I was going to put another word in there, but I chose not to. <laughs> so this is September, the ninth month. Yes. Finalizing things. Completing a cycle. Yes. Let that go. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, whether it was live, hashtag replay, or if it was hashtag YouTube. I'm just made that one up. I don't know if that's a thing. Hashtag YouTube. <laughs> but we are the Hourglass Transmissions. You can find us on Facebook and you can find us on YouTube. And we'd love to hear your comments or your feedback. Closing, departing words, my friend. You know, I also want to support you in your venture as far as having um, your Unstoppable Woman presentation. I want to put in a plug for people to check that out and oh, thank you. See if you can attend. It's October what 21 and 22. Yes. Yeah, here in Red Deer live and in person. Yay. Enjoy. Yes. All right. Have a all great right. day. Great week. Thank you all.